Once again, as it often is, Yankee Stadium is Mecca for baseball fans in the World Series. It's a bright, sparkling day in New York as 70,000 turn out for the opening game of the 1957 Classic between the Yankees and the Milwaukee Braves. Opposing managers, Casey Stengel and Fred Haney, pose amicably before the game, and the fans settle down for the traditional tossing of the ball. Legion Junior League star Freddie Fox does the honors, and now for the highlights of the opener. In the fifth, Warren Spahn pitching for the National League champs, facing Jerry Coleman. It's the second hit of the game for the Yankees' second baseman. With two out, Hank Bauer steps in. It's a double to center past Hank Aaron, and by the time he gets it back to the infield, Coleman scores the first run of the game. Sixth inning, one out. Elston Howard stands in. And a single for the Yanks' first baseman, and the perennial champs are making the odds look good. Yogi Berra works the count up, and then Spahn loses him. Yogi walks, and Howard takes second. Third baseman Andy Carey up next. Here comes Howard, and the Yankees lead two to nothing. Warren Spahn, the veteran left-hander, is the ace of the Milwaukee Mon staff, but the Yankees, many times world's champions, trumped him. Jerry Coleman faces the new Braves hurler, Ernie Johnson. The squeeze is on. Yogi scores, and it's three to nothing. In the seventh, Whitey Ford pitches to Wes Covington. And it's a double into the left field corner. Two out. Red Shandine stop. Shandine singles and Covington scores. But that was all for Milwaukee. The Yanks won it three to one.